Okay, Lady, what's this? Okay, this is our first board with the RP2350 chip, the new dual core M33 from Raspberry Pi. This is a feather version. Uh, I got eight megs of flash and this cool HSTX connector. So you can do high speed um, display work. Uh, we usually start with a feather and then we'll do a Metro and it's a bitsy, a cutie pie, but we start with a feather because it's kind of our tried and true. So here's my tester board for it. I'm going to plug in this feather and then I have a uh, HSTX flex connector over here. I'm going to reboot. Um, the way this works is it this RP2040 Pico loads the RP2350 as a USB key and then uh, does a GPIO test. It tests all the pogo pins and the HSTX connector. And finally, it does a little NeoPixel swirl. So this is good. This tester is ready to go. Thanks to Scott for helping me spot some uh, clocking issues. Uh, we're going to get these in the store next week. Okay. Very exciting. Great. And this is from the desk of Lady Ada here. Gonna, gonna show. We're shutting down for the end of day, but this is the factory with our new little mural that we got. <coughs> Yay. All right, Lady Ada, what's this? Ooh, I just got some new stuff in the mail today. Um, this is the ESP32 P4 eval board. Um, this is a really cool chip. This chip doesn't have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, but it does have a lot of memory, a lot of power. It's RISC-V. It's got high-speed USB on the go. It uh, looks like it has Ethernet, if you just add a Phi at the end, maybe. Um, it uses this uh, ESP32, I think, C5 for external Wi-Fi. It's kind of got this like Raspberry Pi-ish layout and pinout. Uh, and then MIPI in and out, so CSI and DSI super powerful chip um just got this board in and i'm getting oh it also comes with like you know camera accessories and, and uh, display accessories and stuff and then i also got 100 chips which is exciting so i can actually start developing some hardware with this this is a uh, cut tape of esp32 p4 this is the 16 meg uh, version. Um, 32 meg version, um, they're still giving me some samples soon, but I can start with this because they're pin compatible. So looking forward to making some cool designs, a feather, a metro. What do you want me to, uh, what do you want to see me do with this? I'm sure some guy on Twitter is going to tell you. That's right. Okay, good. Greetings, everybody. Okay, some more top secret lady. What's this? Um, this is a breakout for the Ublox Max 8, which is a pretty nice all-in-one GPS unit. Um, got some samples in, so designed to break out with a battery on the back. Uh, what's cool about this is uh, it has both I squared C and UR, and like Ublox makes some of the best GPS units. Next up. Um, getting back to some old designs that um, during the part shortage I couldn't get parts for. This is a four channel I2S microphone input, so you can take four analog line level or electric microphone inputs, and then um, without needing a lot of effort you can output them to um, I2S. So it's good for like, I think I saw this in like a um, Echo Dot or something that's yeah. used for their spatial audio. Input. Fun to tear down Amazon stuff and figure out what parts they use and then make a cool product for all of you. Next up. This is a PDM mic. We covered um, a I squared I2S version of this mic on The Great Search. Um, but this PDM mic is kind of cool because it has um, a wake output so it can you know instead of having to listen for audio levels at all times it'll toggle a pin when it hears some audio which means like your uh, low power project can wake up immediately and start listening for wake words okay next up um this is a another i2s microphone but this one doesn't require i squared c configuration it actually does it all um using gpios for like setting up um, the pinout, which I kind of like because I hate writing I2S drivers and especially on stuff like Linux, it's kind of a pain to, uh, get drivers. And yeah. Let us top secret of the week. And this one is just stereo version of the same. Okie dokie. That is our top secret for the week.